All right, guys, I'm living in this mask like it's the end of days or something. Who knew? Anyways, today we're going to get back to these gorgeous guys, the Anna Karen Carlson collection. We're going to talk about this one right here. This guy's Model 2 Handsome, super limited edition. In fact, this is one of the last ones left. But let's take a moment and actually get into what makes it so amazing and why I like it so much. I might need that one for myself, but we'll figure that out. Let's dive into the actual overview of this frame. So, just what is it that makes these frames so special? Well, to me, it's the attention to detail, and you'll see this across every piece on the collection we go over. The attention to detail in the design work and the actual manufacturing is just something you don't really see too much of these days. This, you've got the very beautiful little chevron pattern here at the front, and the way this connects up into the frame, you can actually see a little bit of that because of the way this color is, but it's done in the same way on this bottom edge. We've got this nice little gap of negative space here, which plays really well on the face. I'll show you that at the end of the video, but in moving back from that chevron pattern, just like we saw in the last frame we talked about, you've got that logo from the designer in the temple, but actually inside on the core of the acetate that same logo repeats all the way down to the back as that dark color fades back to clear so does the akk logo we go back to just the smooth gold temple in the end and of course one more logo there just on the end hiding at the back and it tapers into their very nice ergonomic temples and as for that this is something you don't see on too many manufacturers. That temple tip is actually designed with the head in mind, and these can be fitted really well to have a lot of grip without causing a lot of pressure. And it fits just nice and snug down back behind the ear, grabbing without causing pain and tension. Very easy to adjust on these because they're a titanium core with a gold coating over the end. So very nice very easy to work on for me and you'll see on the back side of that and i always mention this is where the details come out that is actually screwed in so you're not gonna have to worry about that falling off or being broken off easily or failing that's gonna hold its place and shape as intended very well now here's one thing i mentioned right at the start of this video very very limited and this is one of the last ones i did remember that correctly this is number 69 out of 70 produced so if you want this one you need to get in touch with me soon before i decide it's just mine and i'm sorry if that happens anyways we'll go back around to the front of this guy now and take a little bit closer look at that side of things now I did mention you have that chevron temple on the tips around that negative space, but then as you come back around to the front, we see that again at the bridge. And this is very nicely cut into the frames. Just a great attention to detail. I keep, keep talking about the attention to detail in these. You can also notice where that bridge mounts into the acetate. That's got a large spread of contact area in there, so that's not gonna fail like you see on some of the other frames. I'm not gonna mention any names, I'll just stop there. Um, but that's gonna hold up really well over the course of time. And I always talk about the back is where you can really see the beauty of a piece like this, and that shows true here as well. We've got the actual gold-plated titanium nose pads, as well as the core components of the frame. So that is some very, very nice finished work all the way throughout. Now these are equipped with Carl Zeiss lenses, of course, which we all know I love, but they've got the AKK symbol kind of laser etched in in that top corner. These are kind of a nice soft blush gradient lens. Works really well for a lot of different things. Easy to wear indoors and out. And really, a good one for when you're you know, say downtown doing some shopping, you want a little bit of a tint just to take the intensity away as you are walking outdoors, but you still want it to be easy to wear indoors. This one is pretty close to the orange you see me wearing at the beginning of the video as far as its usability in everyday circumstances. And just one quick little pan of that frame as a whole, if we can get it, there we go. 
I'll shut up and let you enjoy for that half a second. That's all you get though because I can't stop talking about this thing. This one's been on my mind since it came in. I keep mentioning I'm really debating this one for myself and I, I seriously am guys. That's, that might end up happening. My wife isn't as huge of a fan of it though and we know how that goes. So I'll catch you guys next time.